On April 12th, the Arsenal Yards development team presented their Phase 4 plan. This plan is for buildings C, D, and E.2. Eric Brown of Prowlitz, Chelinski and Associates explained the vision for these buildings. So tonight, C and D are both retail to ground floor um, with residential above. Building D is four levels over one, and building C is five levels over one. And building E2 is just a small, one-story, special little building um, designed to be a coffee shop or an ice cream store or something like that. The team next presented their landscaping master plan for Arsenal Yards. Steve Woods of Carroll Johnson and Associates described the plan for the sidewalks, crosswalks, entrances, various seating areas, and more. The main goal is to make the outside area aesthetically pleasing, versatile, and easily accessible to customers. This entire plaza, for, for the most part, we're using a special type of pavement, which is a concrete unit paver, something that um, is butt tight, easy to walk on, but allows a little bit of texture, a little bit of color, a little more interest um, to the space. So that's sort of the dominant pattern that you're seeing in this graphic, is that texture is that concrete unit paver. Um, we are allowing for key areas of crossing across the, the shared road. These are concrete walks. But the, build, the pedestrian has the ability to move in all different areas. We wanted the space to be flexible so that there might be the opportunity to have uh, small festivals or other programmed events in this space. Um, uh, and we also allow for the retail areas and restaurant areas to have their own special dining areas. Uh, we have different types of seating that occurs in this space. Some seating that's lit at night other soft seating, so they have more of an outdoor type of living room feel, allowing for that sort of pre-dining, pre-functions um, gathering space before you go have a meal or a drink in one of the restaurants. One of the main concerns voiced by the Watertown citizens at this meeting were the pedestrian sidewalks along Arsenal Street. Eric Brown described their plan to keep the pedestrians safe while walking around Arsenal Yards. What we've done is we create a little bit of a platform here, which is up, and everything is 100% um, accessible, ADA accessible. We have sloping sidewalks here, we have some stairs here. So we kind of separate it. We have a, a layer of sort of more private sidewalk, and then another layer of more public sidewalk. As you can see here, this black line is the property line right here. The development team expects the first three phases to be finished somewhere in 2019. For Watertown Weekly News, I'm Steve Accardi.